What's up, HasFit Tribe? It is your personal trainer, Coach Kozak, and today we have an MMA training workout routine that you can do at home or just about anywhere because it doesn't require any equipment. Now, this routine is useful if you're just getting started or if you are a seasoned pro. However, I have to warn you, we are gonna go full steam ahead today. So if you're used to relying on modifications, then this probably isn't the routine for you. It is the same type of workout that I personally do when I can't make it into the gym to train with the fight team. We're gonna practice skills and all the while improving our conditioning, power, and strength. If you're ready to go, let's do it. Before we jump into the work portion of today's routine, we are going to do a warm up together. It's going to prepare our body for today's session, getting started with what is called a hamstring sweep. Let's put our left straight leg in front. I'm on that left heel. I am going to sweep my arms and at the same time hinge at my hips, feeling that stretch in the back of my left leg. And as I come up, put my right straight leg out. Now, again, feeling that stretch in the hamstring. While the name is a hamstring sweep, it is not only warming up our hamstrings, also our glutes, lower back, and even shoulders and chest and back with this nice big sweeping upper body mo movement. Again, this is just a warm up, so we're moving at a warm up pace here. Increasing our overall body temperature while getting some mobility work in at the same time. This one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Next up, we have a butt kick plus arm crossover. Starting with our arms out at our side. I'm gonna cross my arms over, alternating which arm is that on top. And at the same time, alternating right and left butt kicks, bringing that heel to my glute or my hamstring as close as I can. Opening up your chest and back as well as shoulders with your upper body as big as you can on that arm crossover. These are really efficient moves, warming up multiple muscle groups, body parts and joints all at the same time. This one hitting chest, shoulders, back, hamstrings, quadriceps. Continuing to breathe, getting that heart rate up a little bit now. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it loose. We're moving into a wide straddle rotation. Want a wide stance on this one. Just a very slight bend in our knees. We're gonna hinge at our hips and I'm going to rotate to my right straight arms. Feel that stretch in my backside as well as while I'm rotating my thoracic spine. Now, if you can't quite reach the floor as you rotate, then do the best you can. Maybe you're bringing your hand down to uh, shin or knee level. Again, on this one, working that thoracic mobility or ability, ability to rotate and twist, which is so important in the martial arts. Breathe here for five, four, three, two, one. Come on, back up. All right, next one is a multi part move. So you're going to stick with me here on a downward dog plus a multi-planar lunge. Let me show you what that looks like. Let's get start with our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna move to the floor. I'm gonna walk out into a downward dog position. 
I want you to pull your hips back and relax your shoulders like somebody's grabbing your hips from behind you and pulling your glutes back. Feel that stretch in your backside as well as your shoulders. And now we're gonna do that multi-planar lunge. I'm gonna step forward with my right foot by my right hand. I'm going to use my right elbow to press out on that right knee. And then I'm gonna reach through to my left side and rotate up, hand back down, right leg back down, back into a downward dog. Back, now forward, left foot up by my left hand. Use that left elbow to press out on that left hip. Feel that stretch, especially in your groin. Reach through right side and then rotate to your left. So we're gonna repeat this sequence. Now back to downward dog. Now right side again. Right foot by your right hand. Press out on that hip. Reach through and up. Downward dog. So not a race, but you don't wanna go terribly slow either. Out on that hip. Reach through. Rotate one more time through this one. Downward dog. Step up. Out on that right hip. Reach through. Rotate. All right, last one here on the left side. This one exercise is hitting just about every single muscle group that you have. For five, four, three, two, one, and that is it. Hope you're feeling loose. I know I am. All right, we're gonna get started now with some just basic movement. We're gonna ramp up as the workout progresses. It's gonna get harder and harder. So think about these first few rounds as almost an extended warm up as the workout increases, as it increases in intensity. Hands are up, and let's just start with some movement. Moving around your space, you decide, you know, depending on what space you have to work with, how much you wanna move. But the important part is here, we're not crossing those feet over, we're not clicking our heels together, we're always ready to either go on the offensive or the defensive. Now I use Boss Rutten's number system. If you don't like this system, send Boss Rutten an email and let him know, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear about it. We're gonna start with a one, otherwise known as a jab. So it's a straight left punch. One. Remember, every punch has two parts. You have the punch and you're bringing it back to your chin. One. 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 Next, we're gonna do a two, which is a right straight with your rear hand. Two. Two, 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 two. Next, we're gonna do a three, which is a lead left hook. Three, three. So after every punch, you're continuing to move. Three, never staying still. Three, three. Make sure to rotate at that hip. I like the analogy, there's a string attached hand, elbow, knee, ankle. Three. 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 All right, lastly, we're gonna do a four, which is a big overhand power right with that back hand. Four. 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 All right, and I'll start put it together now. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Lots of head movement in between every strike. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I like to move my head after every combination. One, two, three. Getting ready for that counter. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
All right, one, two, three, four. 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 All right, now we're gonna start to get our kicks involved. We're gonna go one, two, lead kick. One, two, lead leg kick, back down on the ground, and then move. One, two, lead kick, back down. One, two, lead kick. You decide how high you wanna kick. If you have great flexibility, vary. If you're just getting started, keep it low. One, two, lead kick. One, two, lead kick. We're not doing a switch, go right into it. One, two, lead kick. We chamber, kick, back down. One, two, lead kick. One, two, lead kick. Again, moving after every combination, never staying still. One, two, lead kick. One, two, lead kick. All right, next one, we're gonna go two, three, rear kick. Two, three, rear kick. Back down. Two, three, rear. Two, three, kick. You can decide if you wanna go two, three, kick, set it down, or if you wanna do more Muay Thai style and round or, and go around. Two, three, kick. Two, three, kick. Two, three, kick. Again, same thing, vary your heights. Two, three, kick. Throw some head kicks in there. Body, leg, shin. Two, three, kick. Calf, etc. Two, three, kick. Two, three, kick. Two, three, kick. Two, three, kick. All right, now we're gonna do a conditioning move. Great for grappling. We're gonna, again, I'm moving here, I'm not stopping. Keep it moving. We're going sprawl to reshoot. So a defensive sprawl maneuver into a shot. Sprawl, up on one leg, reshoot through, almost like a lunge. So we go sprawl, reshoot, sprawl, reshoot. Sprawl, reshoot. Again, hands are up, we're moving again. Sprawl, reshoot. Try to alternate which leg is coming up. Sprawl, reshoot. Sprawl, reshoot. Sprawl, reshoot. Sprawl, reshoot. Two more. Sprawl. Reshoot. Sprawl. Reshoot. All right, just got real, didn't it? Keep your hands up. Keep it moving, moving, moving. We're gonna go lead low kick. Two, three. Lead low. Two, three. Lead low. Two, three. That lead low is a great opener to get you in. Lead low. Two, three. Your opponent's thinking about that lead low kick and you go up top. Lead low, two, three. We're moving, we're moving. Lead low, two, three again. Moving in as you do this one. Lead low, two, three. Lead low, moving in. Again, lead low, two, three. That lead low is like a calf, calf kick. Lead low, two, three. Lead low, two, three. Again, lead low, two, three. One more, keep it moving in between. Lead low, two, three, good. All right, next we're moving to the floor on our backs. Defensive position, somebody's on our chest. What do we do? We oopa. We're gonna alternate right and left sides here. Driving off my heels to my right side, off my heels to my left side. So we reach up and over that shoulder, ideally touching the ground, getting a nice bridge 
as we roll onto that shoulder. Big explosive movement in your hips, driving your heels into the floor, getting that opponent up off of us. Keep breathing, keep moving here. It's all about intensity and pace today. You got 10 more seconds on this one. How many can you get? Right here, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, back up onto our feet for our next striking drill. Again, hands are up by our chin. Don't keep them low. And we're moving those feet. We're gonna get a knee involved in the next one. We're gonna go one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Rear leg on that knee. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Bring that opponent into you. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Punching high, returning those punches back to your chin. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Back down. Again, one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Ideally, those toes are pointed down as that knee comes up. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Back. Keep breathing. One, two, three, knee. And keep moving. Oxygen's flowing here. One, two, three, knee. And back. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Two more. One, two, three, knee. Last one. One, two, three, knee. All right, we're hitting the floor for a conditioning and strength move next. We're gonna do a bear plank push-up. So we are in a bear plank position. Start on all fours, then bring your knees up in a quadruped position. Now maintaining this position, push-ups. Now don't just move with your neck but actually bend those elbows, keep that core tight and engaged. This is as close to a total body move as you will find. We're not counting repetitions, this is for time. So get as many in as you can in this 45 second time period. Keep breathing, gonna burn out those shoulders, chest, even your legs and core are getting hit on this one. I want you to breathe in on the way down and out on the way up. It's a position we find ourselves in very often while we're grappling. We need to be strong on top. Let's go, last 10 seconds. Fight through it. Seven, six, almost there, come on. Three, two, one, and zero. We're back up onto our feet and you guessed it, we're moving. Hands are up and we're moving. Shoulders are fatigued, but we're gonna keep pushing them. We're gonna go three, uppercut, three. Three, uppercut, three. Again, three, uppercut, three. Three, uppercut, three. Make sure to load those legs for that uppercut. Three, uppercut, three. It's all in the hips, this whole combination. Not about your arms, about your hips and legs. Three, uppercut, three. Again, three uppercut, three. Twist and drive into that chin. Those two lead knuckles, three uppercut, three. Good, again, three uppercut, three. Three uppercut, three. Moving in between, keep moving, you're on defense. Three uppercut, three. Good, again, three uppercut, three. Last one, three, uppercut, three. Moving to the floor, working our core now. We're gonna do what's called a hollow body rocker. On our backs, we're gonna start by driving our lower back into the floor and bringing our shoulders up. Now legs out, arms down, and we rock. Breathe. Your heart rate's gonna come down a little bit on this one, but at the same time, your core is gonna get lit up. Drive that lower back to the floor. You shouldn't have an arch. You can't stop that arch, bend your knees, and rock from here. But ideally, advanced mode, 
is here. This is what you're working towards. Keeping everything tight right here. Shoulders are up as you rock. Breathe. You got it again. Not a uh, movement where we're counting repetitions, but this one is for time. More than halfway done. Come on. Breathe. Keep that core engaged. Feel those abs light, lit up on this one. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're on our feet. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on. Hands are up and we're on our feet and we're moving. We have one, two, switch, kick. One, two, switch, kick, down. One, two, switch, kick, down. So that switch is literally just switching which foot is in front. One, two, switch, kick. Kick with that lead leg and put it down. One, two, switch, kick. You can decide how high you want to go or how low you want to go. One, two, switch, kick. Whatever is appropriate. One, two, switch, kick. So by switching, we're putting that lead leg in back and getting more power out of it. One, two, switch, kick. Hands are at your chin and you're moving. One, two, switch, kick. Make that switch as fast as you can so you're not telegraphing your strike. One, two, switch, kick. One, two, switch, kick. And then set that lead foot right back down. One, two, switch, kick. One, two, switch, kick. One, two, switch, kick. Good. Next, we're doing a duck walk, burning out our lower body. We're gonna sit back, weight in our hips, Elbows are right at our knees. We're taking little steps. Again, not about the distance you cover on this one. Not about how many steps. It's about that time under tension as we stay low here. That being able to maintain this position for you grapplers out there is so important. Now, I want you to walk backwards. Walking backwards. Keep those elbows down and in defensive position here. Breathe, do not hold your breath. Hey, at first glance, this looks like a break, but then you realize as much as your legs are working here, it's not a break. You got it, come on. More than halfway done with this one. Stay low, stay low. My legs are on fire too. We're pushing together here. We got five, four, three, two, one, and zero. We're standing up. Shake them loose and keep moving. I know they start to feel heavy. You gotta fight through it. Let's go, hands are up. We're gonna go front kick, front kick. One, two, starting with the lead leg. Chamber, front, down. Chamber, down. One, two, so this is an attack. We're going forward. We're going front kick, front kick. One, two, moving forward the whole time. Front kick, front kick, one, two. Again, then I move back. Again, front kick, front kick, one, two. Keeping your hands up so you don't get hit on the way in. Front kick, front kick, one, two. Idea is you're getting them on their heels, then moving back, front kick, front kick, and then you go up top. While they're on their heels, trying to move, avoid those kicks. Front kick, front kick, one, two. Chambering those kicks. You bring that knee up first. Front kick, front kick, one, two. You're getting the toes out of the way and you're driving with the ball of your foot. Front kick, front kick, one, two. Last one, come on. Stay strong, stay with me. Let's go, let's go. Front kick, front kick, one, two. Moving to the floor. We're gonna do a prone pullback. Getting on your front side. Your arms out in front of you. Everything stays down to start. We're gonna bring your upper body up, pull back on the elbows, return back down. So you pull back. And that upper body comes up as your elbows come back. Once you keep your glutes tight on this one the whole time. So you're flexing your buttocks. It's gonna take the strain off your lower back and build that glute strength. Pull back on those hands. Pull back every time. 
Again, it doesn't look like much, but it'll get you quick. It's another one we're doing for time. Squeeze those glutes. 10 seconds right here, come on. Show me what you got for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're up on our feet again. You know the drill, hands are up and we're moving. Next up, we're gonna go into a fake shot to an overhand right. So we're gonna set up this big overhand right power shot. So we're gonna drop to about a 90 degree angle with both knees and then pop up with an overhand right. So our opponent thinks we're coming in for a takedown shot, overhand right. Fake shot to overhand right. Fake shot, overhand right. Ideally, you have a little more space for this one. Fake shot, overhand right, you pop up. Fake shot, going for those legs. Sell it every time. And that overhand right. Fake shot, overhand right. Looking at those legs too helps to sell it. Fake shot, overhand right. Again, fake shot to big power, overhand right. One more, here we go. Fake shot to overhand right. All right, let's get our legs involved next. We're still moving. We're gonna go low kick, high kick combo. Let's start with that rear leg. We go low kick, back, high kick, and then move. So aim for your opponent's leg and then your opponent's head. Low kick, high kick. Low kick, back, high kick. High as you can. Low kick, high kick. Good. Hands are up and we're moving. We're moving, we're moving. Low kick, high kick. Low kick, back, high kick. Especially at this point in the workout, it's gonna get a little difficult. Keep trying, keep doing your best. Low kick, high kick. Low kick, high kick. Trying your best to focus on technique even though we're fatigued. Low kick, high kick. Low, high. Bring it back into chamber every time. Low kick, high kick. Low, high, good. Now we're gonna do the same thing with that lead leg. So we're gonna go low, down, high, and back. Again, chamber that knee up, and then extend. Low, high, low, down, high. Bring it down in between. Low kick, high kick again. Boom, down, high, good. Everybody's height is gonna look a little bit different. Do the best you can. Low kick, high kick, low, high. Again, low, high. Again, low, high. Last one, here we go. Low, high. All right, and we're moving. We're on the defense. Don't cross your feet, you're light on your feet, and your hands are right here at your chin. Elbows are tucked. We're gonna go double jab or double one next. One, double one, one, one. Bring it back and coordinate your footwork along with that double jab. One, back, one, and back to your chin. One, one, it's a great one to set up. You show your opponent that single jab a few times, and then you hit them with that double jab. Double jab. Bring it back to your chin as fast as you can in between. Double jab. Opponent's not expecting that second. Double jab. If you get real good, you can also do it so that you don't even bring it all the way back. Double jab. Halfway back, and then you hit him again. Double jab. A lot of times your opponent starts going to sleep. They think you know, they know your range. Double jab. But that closes that distance really fast. Double jab. Coordinate that footwork again. Double jab. Last one, here we go. Double jab. All right, we're moving to the floor, back into that bare plank position that we were in earlier. We're on all fours in that quadruped position. Now we're gonna come up. We're gonna go a bare plank up, down. Right arm down to the forearm, left arm down to the forearm. Press up on the right. Now reverse it, left down first. Right down, left up. So every time start with a different side. Keep your back straight and ideally, your knees are staying at a 90 degree angle throughout. This one's gonna work your chest, triceps, shoulders, back, abs, core, legs, you name it. 
Again, focusing on keeping that back straight and your abs engaged throughout the move. Do not hold your breath on this one. It's one of those moves where if you don't focus on it and don't concentrate, you might hold your breath. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. We're up on our feet and we're moving. You know the game, come on now, come on. Fast feet, fast feet. Just cause you're tired doesn't mean you get to slow down. Keep the feet moving. We're gonna go one, two, slip, two. One, two, slip to our right side, allow that punch to go by. Two, one, two, slip, two. Again, one, two, slip, two. So you chamber that two. One, two, defense, boom, back at them as they come in. One, two, slip, two. Keep the feet moving, one, two, slip, two. So we wanna roll that shoulder, tuck your chin. One, two, slip, two. Turn that punch over. One, two, slip, two. Good, feet are moving. One, two, slip, two. That's it, you got it. One, two, slip, two. One, two, slip, two. Two more. One, two, slip, two. You got it, you got it. One, two, slip, two. Yeah, nice. You made it, big high five to you out there, Has Fit Tribe. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Now it's time for the easier part. Maybe not easy, let's call it easier, which is the cool down. Make sure you don't skip this part. It's gonna help uh, relieve delayed onset muscle soreness, that, uh, that muscle soreness the next day, and also help improve your flexibility and mobility, which are so important in martial arts. We're gonna move to the floor, getting started with loosening up our hips in a 90-90 stretch. We're gonna start in this oh-so attractive spread eagle position with both my knees at a 90-degree angle. And I'm gonna rotate to my left side, keeping both knees at a 90. If you immediately start to uh, cramp up and you can't even maintain this, lean on back to take the pressure off. And this is probably where you're gonna stay on this one today. If you feel good here, feel a good stretch, you can stay here. If you want more, you can take that opposite side shoulder. In this case, it's my right shoulder to my left knee, and I can lean into it for additional hip, for an additional hip stretch. We're just gonna hold this one. It is an isometric stretch. Big, deep breaths here. For five, four, three, two, one. We're going back to that middle position and now let's rotate in the opposite direction. Same thing, maybe one side's tighter than the other. So assess each side individually, but I'm gonna do the more advanced version, taking this opposite shoulder to my knee and as I lean in. Again, just hold here. I mean, I find myself doing this stretch just throughout the week, whether it's at the beginning of my day or end of my day, I, I get a lot of hip tightness and this is like one of my go-to moves. Again, also great after a workout. For three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna do a kneeling hip flexor stretch next, hitting different muscle groups. On both knees, or sorry, we're on, our, my, on my back right knee and both knees are at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna start by contracting my glutes and my abs. That's start one. If you poke them both, give them a poke. They should both be solid, hard. All right, now from that position, I'm going to gently come forward. Doesn't take a lot of range of motion, as long as you're keeping and maintaining tightness in your glutes and in your abs. Feel that stretch down your quadricep, as well as in that hip flexor. Both got a lot of work in today. It's also a great one if you struggle with interior pelvic tilt, or if you're at a desk sitting a lot throughout your day. Big deep breaths here. Keep that tightness and relax. All right, switch it up opposite side now. Same move. Let's get that, get those abs tight, glutes tight, flex them. Now, come forward ever so slightly. Again, if everything's tight, it really doesn't matter how flexible you are. Only a couple inches range of motion is all it should take for you to start to feel that stretch in here. You see a lot of people 
keep everything loose and then they bury it where they're not getting any stretch whatsoever. Key is abs tight, glutes tight, and then forward for three, two, one, zero. All right, let's give our upper body some love next. We're gonna lie down on our backs. This is called a lying angel. I'm gonna put my arms over my head. I wanna maintain contact with my lower back to the floor so I don't want a big arch here as I bring my arms overhead. So I'm trying my best to contract those abs. Now, relaxing my arms, and ideally they're straight overhead and touching, and your hands are touching the floor, but after that tough workout, it might not be possible, so do the best you can. Now we're going to drag your hands and your elbows down, and then extend them back up. And as you go through a few repetitions of this one, it's very likely that your arms will slowly kind of start to lower a little bit. If you're having trouble with them touching the ground, you'll feel that flexibility and mobility improving just throughout the course of this set alone. Another great one to do if you're sitting a lot throughout your day. Helps your posture, great for your shoulders, rotator cuffs, back, overall shoulder health and mobility. Again, striving to maintain contact with the floor throughout the whole move, which is definitely a challenge, even for me, who's been doing this drill for over a decade, maybe even a couple of decades now, showing my age. For five, four, three, two, one. All right, one last one here. We're gonna start with our legs out in front of us. We're gonna hit up that posterior chain to start with a toe touch. Classic drill, but it's a good one. Legs are together. Let's get the back of those knees to the floor so they're not up. We're going to come up overhead and reach towards our toes. You're either gonna get your toes. If you can't, get your ankles. If you can't, get your shins. If you can't, get your knees. You reach for however far you can reach. Hold. Big deep breaths. And then we're, as we come up, we're gonna get both elbows at a 90 degree angle. We're gonna pull back, good posture. Like somebody's pulling back on your arms, opening up your chest. So you're in a two for one here. Now dive back on, down into that toe, ankle, knee, shin, whatever it is, touch. Again, back of the legs stay on the floor. This one's loosening up our calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, upper back. And then now let's hit that interior, those interior muscles. Sitting up, elbows bent at a 90, pulling back, opening up our chest and shoulders. Big deep breath. One last one, dive down. And back up. Pulling back on those shoulders and chest, opening them up for three, two, one, zero. That is it. You made it, Hasfit Tribe. Thank you for sticking with me to the very end. You can cross this one off your to-do list and feel good about what you've accomplished today. If working out were easy, everybody be fit, but we know that is not the case. And you know you can get even faster results by following a complete fitness program. And we've made those available to you both in our HasFit app as well as HasFit.com. You can also help support our videos, this whole mission that we've been on for over a decade by stopping by our store, picking, by, picking up a, some HasFit gear like a t-shirt or our diet guide, Eating for Life. And make sure to follow us on, on your favorite social media channel. We are where you are. Well, folks, again, it's been my absolute privilege to work out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak, and I will see you at your next workout.